Hi there and welcome. Today we want to look at one specific aspect of interpreting machine learning algorithms and that is how different algorithms deal with interaction effects. An interaction effect is when the effect of one variable depends on the value of another variable. The algorithms we look at are simple linear regression, um, generalized additive models or GAMS, and then non-parametric methods KNN, a single decision tree, and a random forest or bagging model. The data we will use um, are the Boston, is the Boston data set from the Mars package in, in base R, so you don't need to download it from anywhere. Um, each of the 506 cases represents one suburb of Boston, and the dependent variable is median value of owner-occupied homes. And for simplicity, we only use two predictor variables, the low, lowest status of population in percent and a Charles River dummy variable, so located at Charles River or not. Um, so we don't want to build brilliant prediction models, but we want to keep it simple to illustrate the mechanism of how the algorithms deal with interaction effects. The first model here is a simple linear regression model. You see the regression formula in the plot title. Uh, we just add the predictors by using a plus sign and we see that the regression lines are exactly parallel. This is not an empirical result but a model assumption. Linear, linear regression forces the lines to be parallel. Um, so median value of unoccupied homes is reduced as low status of population increases and this effect or the slope is the same for whether suburbs are located at Charles River or not, but the intercept is higher for suburbs located at Charles River, so they are more valuable. But the value is reduced to the same extent as lower status of population increases. So we have no interaction effect here because the lines are parallel. And as I said, this is not a result but a model assumption. We can change this model assumption and allow for interaction effects when we change the module formula here from the plus sign to the to a multiplicative effect and then interaction effects are included and we see that now the lines are not parallel anymore. Um, the slope is steeper for suburbs located at Charles River here and the lines intersect at, at some point. So now we have different effects, different slopes and yeah this is the definition of an interaction effect. So an interaction effect is appropriate in this data and the first simple linear regression was um, probably too simple and couldn't capture it. So it is possible to include interaction effects in linear models but we have to explicitly state that we want them. They are not automatically modeled. The next model we look at is the GAM or generalized additive model. This is much more flexible. You see that the, the lines are not straight lines anymore but flexible curves. Um, the algorithm I used is GAM spline. I used caret. I'll show you the code in a minute. So, and we see the lines do not intersect, so we do not have an interaction effect here. And this is the meaning of the A or additive in, in the name of the algorithm, generalized additive model. Additive effects mean that there are no interaction effects, um, or they're not automatically included. It is possible to include them here as well, just like we did in the linear model. I won't show it here, I just wanted to show that they're not automatically modeled, even though the model is more flexible than simple linear regression. Here's the code. I use caret for cross-validation, repeated cross-validation in this case, and the algorithm is called GAMSpline, and the rest is just the plot method. I include predictions in the data frame and then plot everything, so if you'd like to have a closer look at the code, you can pause the video here, and I go on to the next algorithm. This is a non-parametric method now, KNN, or K nearest neighbors. So there is no um, formula for the slope, but rather the position of each point um, is determined by a certain number of nearest neighbors. The model formula is the same as in the linear model, but this is a KNN algorithm. We see especially the red line representing suburbs not located at Charles River, which are much more frequent in Boston, is very wiggly. 
then there's no model assumption that forces the lines to be parallel. So in this case, we have an automatically modeled interaction effect. The lines can intersect, and they do, and the slopes are different. So here we do not need to think about interaction effects because the algorithm does that automatically. Here's the code. Um, so in the train method, I use method k and n, and there's one pre-processing step that is very easy to um, apply using caret with a pre-process um, parameter, and it's recommended to send and scale predictors so the different scales do not um, distort the model. All right, so here we have automatic inter interaction effects in KNN, and we go to the next algorithm. It's a simple decision tree. I'm using the R part algorithm here. The model formula is, is the same as in the linear model, just using the R part method. And I tuned the complexity parameter CP using a custom grid. And again, like in KNN, you see the lines are very wiggly. There's no mechanism enforcing the lines to be parallel, so they intersect at a lot of points here, and that means that interaction effects are automatically included. There are no strict model assumptions. It's a non-parametric model, and we do not need to think about how to include interaction effects because the model does that automatically. Here's the code again, method or part, and here you see the custom grid to tune CP. If I hadn't used that, the model would still work, and it would also include interaction effects, but it wouldn't be as fine-grained as it was here. Okay, and the last algorithm we want to look at is a random forest model. In this case, it's the same as a bagging model, because we only have two predictors, and I fixed n try at 2, so there's no, um, no choice of predictors at each split, no random choice, because we only have two predictors anyway. Um, and you see again, the lines are very wiggly, and there's no mechanism enforcing them to be parallel. So again, we have interaction effects included automatically without needing to think about them or specifying a different model formula to include them. All right, this is the code again. So method equals RF for random forest, and I fixed M try at two because it doesn't make sense to use fewer than two predictors, I think. All right, if you want to have a closer look at the code, you can pause the video, and I go on to the last slide, just a short summary, uh, <coughs> a short overview of the algorithms we looked at. Two parametric models, linear regression and GAN, and they both don't include interaction effects automatically, but it is possible if we explicitly model them in the model formula. The other three algorithms were non-parametric and automatically include interaction effects, so we don't need to think about them. Um, like at least not how to model them. And then you see, um, of course, various degrees of interpretability. Linear regression is easy to interpret, a single decision tree as well. And the other three algorithms we looked at are more difficult to interpret. I hope this was helpful. Um, maybe you can keep this in mind as one of, of many criteria to decide between machine learning algorithms. How does an algorithm treat interaction effects? All the best for your modeling and hope to see you soon. Goodbye.